Overall, I believe social media has caused more harm than good. And in today's case, we're talking about how platforms like Twitter just aided in the widespread illness of groupthink. Some people are so sucked into their echo chambers that they begin to believe the world shares the opinions they have on Twitter because of the number of retweets and likes they get on a post. So when real world facts take a dump on their regurgitated opinions, they enter panic mode and just spew more nonsense to save face. It's funny because as soon as you bring out facts, they hide behind the curtain of I was just stating my opinion, but like I said in previous videos, for some things, it's a matter of fact, not opinions. For example, take a look at this tweet and you see what I mean from the get-go. Why does Twitter hate white rappers? Logic, Eminem, Ross, do y'all have reasons or y'all just follow everybody else? I don't have to spell it out, but I hope this was just sarcasm or something funny, but the replies took it to another level. Logic, horribly inconsistent, all skill, no substance. Eminem keeps effing up his legacy with messy dad jokes and immense insecurity. For over 10 years now, critics have been regurgitating the same thing about Eminem, messing up his legacy, but I don't understand this kind of thinking. Sure, if you've been a fan of Eminem, and weren't just riding the wave at the beginning because it was the new thing, why would you want him to stop making music when it's still better than 99% of what's out today? And many fans will agree, just observe the facts. Okay, you say he's not as good as he used to be, fine. But why should he stop making music when his only true competition so far is himself? When people say revival flopped, Spads don't understand why, but just go with what everyone is saying. Well, let me clarify for you if you still don't know. Revival only flopped based on Eminem standards, and depending on who you ask, Kamikaze, MMLP2, Recovery, and Relapse are great albums. For me, MMLP2 especially is in the same ballpark as his first three albums, and compared to the rest of the industry, Eminem is far ahead of the competition with his albums. Rap God on MMLP2, for instance, has become synonymous to Eminem, and this song dropped just over 5 years ago, but nearly 15 years after the Slim Shady LP in 1999, but still ended up as career defining for Eminem long after his peak. Even Killshot added a few records for Eminem, so if anything, it's solidifying his legacy. And here's something I also wanted to talk about. This reply to the original tweet says, Hey, Mac got love everywhere, whack is just whack. So based on this post, this user believes Logic and Eminem are whack, but even Mac Miller believed Eminem was a genius, but isn't it more ironic that Mac got all this love after his death, same as Nipsey Hussle. Now people act like they had this much love when they were alive, and once again, it's about the facts here, not opinions. Mac Miller's swimming opened with global sales of 85,000 equivalent units, and on the week after his death, sold more albums with 92,000 equivalent units. Same happened with Nipsey. Victory Lab opened globally with 56,000 equivalent units, the album disappeared from the charts soon after, and after his death, sold 73,000 the week after. So much love, but it comes after the death, and Victory Lab, for instance, has sold more globally since Nipsey's death than it did one year before. 279,000 after his death compared to 257,000 equivalent units when he was alive. So they waited for a tragedy before they love, but one thing Eminem has enjoyed throughout his career is that he has a huge core fan base, a global fan base that love him while he's still with us, and we don't need a tragedy combined with the media sensationalism to make the choice for us. Eminem drops one album that's considered bad on social media, and we get this too. Eminem back in the day was untouchable, now, meh. The latest album was an improvement though. So let's get this straight using a scale of good, average and bad, just to shed some light on this based on critical reception. Relapse good, MMLP2 good, Revival average, Kamikaze good. Based on form, how is this a bad run, and if Eminem was untouchable, as in past tense, who are those that have touched him yet? And what is this criteria based on? If it's personal opinions, well, okay, everyone's got one, but just bringing in some facts will end it all. In the 2000s, Eminem was the artist of the decade in the United States, and although Adele has taken that from him this decade, Eminem still remains the male artist on top this decade, 
So if anything, is still untouchable in the current decade and consistent for hip hop. Dropping off from first to third this decade for album sales while still remaining at the top for male artists and hip hop in general is the definition of consistency. Facts that remain the same across the board, unlike opinions that flip and flop like flip flops right and left. And here we go again. Eminem lost it even though his last album was his best in a while. Now, even based on critical reception, even critics that always go at Eminem's throat, that statement is false, and based on facts, is the other way around as hip hop is struggling to keep up with Eminem. Another generic reply M is a shadow of what he used to be. The next guy states how Eminem is still better than most rappers, but it didn't take long for the NPC to show his true colors. Like I've said many times, these guys were never fans, at best they just rode the wave since Eminem was at the forefront of everything back in 02, that's if this guy was even old enough back then. Now for the extra clout and retweets, he responds with 5%. Now I can't wait for Eminem's next album to take a dump on the game and also top the year for hip hop just like Kamikaze did for us to get another episode of Eminem is washed up. But this is a circular diss to your favorite rappers because a washed up rapper still dominated your favorite rappers. If only they put this much energy to supporting your favorite rappers by purchasing or streaming your albums, Eminem won't have taken another decade. Well, what are your thoughts on this? Tell us below and remember to subscribe if you haven't. See you in the next video.